Hey, what's up, YouTube? Numpty Dumpty here with Rage Ryan, giving you a little, you know, game review on this new game right here, State of Decay. Decay. It's a, uh, it's a game that most recently came out, maybe, what was it, yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, it came out yesterday, fifth. well, Wednesday the 5th. Cause, for Xbox. Yeah, for I don't know if it's out for I don't Xbox. Play it. I don't think PlayStation has it yet. Uh-uh. They, they don't have it yet, but it's exclusively on Xbox Arcade. Um, if anyone has uh, played uh, Arma 2 on the computer, which oh, you should know weird. about the uh, DayZ mod on there, that's pretty much what this game is. Sadly, it, there is no multiplayer yet. Oh, but from what I hear, though, in forums I've read, they're possibly going to add that in the DLC. Yes, that is possibly going to be a DLC, but the uh, people who uh, made the game Undead Labs did not want to upload the game because of its, uh, or make the game with servers yet because of the massive amount of downloads this game could and probably honestly has probably has, has been getting. You know, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to start this game off right at the very beginning because I've been playing this for, uh, honestly, since it came out. Yes, and you played quite a while. You're, yeah. you're pretty far in it. Yeah, and oh, it's it's so fun, you guys. I, I'm just going to let you know right ahead right now. Just I'm going to tell you some of the things you can do right now, but I'm going to let you know it's, it's totally, totally worth it. I myself haven't played it. Um, I've seen him play it a couple times, but I'm, I've played Daisy enough to know kind of verbatim what to do. Okay, so pretty much the basis of this game is honestly, you start out with as this guy right here. His name Frojo. is Frojo. His name is uh, as I think we should just go with Frojo. No, his name is uh, what did I get it right? Marcus. Marcus Campbell. Marcus Campbell. You uh, start out as him down on the lake in this city, pretty much uh, with your friend or whatever. You come back, you know, on like every single zombie game movie that they have no idea what's going on, you know, as as normal. So, as you can see, pretty much right out of the starting gate, you walk out into this church lot. Obviously, pretty protected church lot. You got your basic church, you know, a lot of survivors there. As you can see in the top left-hand corner, it shows your your status, how many shows you have, health. Uh, it shows influence, and correct me if I'm wrong, influence is basically um, it's your, your likability with the people. Pretty much how the people like you. And it has the population up at the top, and you do go out into the city and rescue survivors. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the map right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and zoom out all the way. This is the entire map. This whole area you can travel to. Hold, it's hold, hold all on, hold on, world second. and everything. Go to the very right corner. Uh, the right corner. Lower. At your left. Oh my goodness. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's Brado Gas. It's the gas station. Oh my god. Oh yeah, but yeah, this whole area is free to just roam around in. There's no, there's really no loading screens except for when it cuts to any kind of uh, like scenes or whatever. And yeah, pretty much this whole area. Of course, these little things right here are towns. These are infestations. Pretty much like houses that have overgrown with zombies. And uh, so pretty much anywhere after rallies is open. I guess. And this is like the small little town. Uh, I definitely advise the that you go to like the gun shop here. But beforehand, before you do anything, you have to go to the scout, uh, scout towers. And when because whenever you go there, you see everything around the city, and that's how you learn like what's going on. So it sounds like stuff. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, kinda. And as you can see in your inventory right now, you do have limited space and your weight. Your weight does affect your player, how he runs and how your stamina, uh, like, stays up and how fast it drains. Um, as you can see right now in my inventory, oh, and ammo is scarce on this game. It is super hard to find ammo. Well, some more than others. Yeah. Certain ammo you, you'll come by pretty much regularly, and then, like, shotgun shells, they're harder to like find. Like, shotgun shells and, uh, 5.57... All those right there, pretty much the main ammo that you want to use, they're really, really hard to come by. Like, you have to go to look in the gas stations, and or not gas stations, sorry, the police stations and uh, gun shops and stuff like that. And, and some of these characters actually, and you don't have to be the same character right now. Like, you can be Marcus, or you can back out, and this for the first girl you find uh, is Maya. And you pretty much you can switch to her at any time. You can switch to your friend Charlie. Uh, you can switch to other survivors that you've saved over time. And each person or whatever can hold like a different 
you know, holds different uh, weapons each time for you. I just love your chick said no nonsense. Like, here, I'll show you right now. Right now, this, my girl has an M1 Grand. Let me go ahead and show you oh, her inventory. Uh, she's over encumbered right now, but as you can see, I only have 10 shells. I have my M1 Grand. I used to be suppressed, but I don't, me back. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, you have your melee weapon. Uh, an energy drink, of course, to gain back your health, some extra ammo, and I have an assault rifle, the MK mod down here that I found. That's honestly what's weighing, uh, overweighing me right now, but, yeah. Oh, and then, uh, in your areas that, uh, you can, uh, build in, like, your church, you have little areas where you can build different types of things, like right here, I have a medical area, I have a sleeping area, and this area right here is open, I haven't figured out what I want to put there. <laughs> uh, you have a training, you can put a garden, a library, um, other medical areas, a workshop, cause, and it takes certain, um, buildings to build other things, uh, that you want inside there. I, I get it, I'm over in cover, shut up. Alright, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this chick and walk around. Uh, so I can cars show. Cars are plentiful. Yes, cars. Yes, oh, cars. Wait. Cars oh, are wait. everywhere. Yeah, and uh, here's uh, my car. Oh, That's as convenient. you can tell, <laughs> right now, killing zombies <laughs> is WWE. And don't do. So as, as you can see, pretty much the fighting concept of this is pretty much the same. Four or five. I mean, it's yeah. it's nothing you know dramatic. Uh, it gets the job done. Aiming yeah. system's pretty simple. Um, what would you say? Pretty much like a Gears of War aiming system? Not really. It's more Call of Duty. Is it? Okay. Yeah, except uh, you Just can't you can't free fire. Yeah. You can cheer, taunt, and whatever with the triggers, but you have to be aiming to shoot. You can't just hit fire. Um... You can switch to weapons at any time, but it does not pause the game, and neither does looking at your map. So if you're going to do it, do it when you're not in a group of things. Yes, and also there are hordes on this game. Zombies do get attracted to uh, gunshots. As you can tell, the zombies are climbing the wall into my base because I shot. I was firing my weapon, so... They run like idiots. <laughs> as you can see... They're, it, it's a pretty solid put together game How all like if you ever read any kind of zombie books or anything and you were really interested in it like if you really like zombie games and you're really anal about how they're put together then this is a game for this is a game for you 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 will really like this game right here and the and one of the cool things about it it's only 1600 microsoft points or $20 uh, I have no idea what the zombie's doing oh okay he's yeah, yeah. down <laughs> all right all right, let me kill this chick real quick. I mean, the only thing I foresee in this, and uh, and I know a lot of people will probably get this game, knowing, thinking it'll be a lot like Daisy, and in a lot of in a lot of segments, it really is. It's pretty much and an I'm, Xbox. I'm, I'm about to die. Yeah, you're about to get fucked. yeah, you and once your stamina runs down, you're kind of screwed. That's the one bad thing is when you get into a big group of them, it's really hard to keep going. Yeah, it's because uh, your stamina will run down really quick. And also, they do, as you can see, they do hop onto your car and they do tear it up. Like, uh, oh, you can see all my cars that I've wrecked and just kind of left. Yeah, being, The driving system on here is kind of sloppy, I'll have to admit. Yeah, I mean, turning... There, there's some need-to-be-looked-at kind of things. As yeah. you can see right now, you know, he's barely he's barely clicking the stick. Yeah. And it, it flips him all over the place. Oh, and uh, also, whenever you go to places and you clear them, like, see this Big Daddy's Auto Repair... Do. One of the uh, places you can scavenge from. Once the place is clear, you can establish it as a base, like to yourself. Like you can put another supply point. Which supply points are really easy because you are actually sorry about that. They're really good because you can stow things without keeping them in your inventory and having them over encumbered, and then just getting them out whenever you go there at any time. Um. That uh, let's see, was what all have we covered? Oh, suppressors. Oh, yeah. Suppressors are really, really nice to have because, you know, you, uh... Attract a lot of attention. Yeah, you attract a lot of attention you when you, uh... Off. When you shoot guns. Like, whenever you shoot, like, in any other well-put-together zombie movie or game, you shoot guns, zombies will hear them, and they will come to you. Like, so, if you find it... Damn it. Uh... I'm more surprised you can get hurt from that. Yeah. 
someone needs to talk to you. <laughs> so, and of course, zombies still haven't mastered the ability to climb a ladder. <laughs> no, thank God. <laughs> All right. So let me try to get. They know how to there. climb a wall, but <laughs> climbing a ladder is just out of their quota. Well, I mean, oh yeah, here's the survey system. You look around, and these question marks pop up, and you look at it, and you see what's around you. That's how you get little things on your map, and how you discover locations, like, kind of like on Fallout, except on Fallout, you have to actually go there. But, just get to a high vantage point, and you can do it with anyone, and you just survey around. See, there's a zombie horde right there. I recommend, unless you have a group of people with you... Because you can call groups of people with you at any time. Um, let's see if I can try to find that feature. Uh, the other thing is, if you look, really, the home... Uh, there it is. If you hit down on the D-pad, you can call for scavengers, establish an outpost, or give you <laughs> words of inspiration, which helps with, uh, like... God bless you. Your overcurrent and gives you your stamina. <laughs> Up And... Yeah, so as you look, zombies, honestly, they do come in packs. Even in not in hordes, you're s kind of screwed. The best way to stay out of sight, honestly, I'm going to show you guys, I'll show you Don't guys fall. this. This might have to be close to getting wrapped up. Um, yeah, see, I just fell again. YOLO. I did get hurt okay, that Okay, so time. you threw his fall damage. One of the best things to do to stay hidden from zombies is crouching. As you can tell I'm crouched right now. I'm walking around, he he's completely oblivious of me. And this really helps when you're walking through at night, say your car breaks down and you're trying to get somewhere and you're carrying a heavy backpack. This is one of the best ways to sneak around zombies. Like now, watch, now watch watch whenever I stand up and start walking around. Start sprinting. See, he instantly notices me. Now, if you crouch, he's not gonna unnotice you. You know, that's kinda dumb. Let's see, I think he's still chasing me. Yeah, shit. Slowly. Fuck. That's always you. But if they do have their eyes on you and they do see you, they will automatically come after you. And obviously, some and of see them it, are that's right there, like as you just saw. Bats. As you just saw what happened. I'm not really sure I like the whole, like, 360 jumping, you know. Well, I mean. They, it, like, super jump to you. What, oh, and also another cool thing whenever you're in cars, you can kill zombies, multiple zombies, honestly, get kills with them. Because you can open your door while yeah. you're driving and take them out. Unfortunately, it wears down your car, which I don't understand. Yeah. Oh, and zombies are attracted to pretty much any kind of noise. Like I said, gunshots. Sneezes. But mainly any... Oof. See, you can kill zombies with your <laughs> I door. I that's so entertaining. Yeah, but zombies love noise. Like, if you're driving in a car at night and you drive past a horde, they'll instantly get alerted and come after you. Driving in a car at night. But... The whole map is pretty much, you can drive around anywhere, go anywhere. If one area gets uh, cleaned out, like you scavenge everything, then uh, you then you can go to different areas because there's so much to do and so much to find on this map that I haven't found anything, and I've been playing this forever. Like, I've been playing it for, uh, sad to say, pretty much all day that I haven't had, like, anything going on this this is the honestly what i've been doing and uh yeah that's pretty much basically it well before I mean, we wrap this up i'm just gonna go ahead and do the ryan lowdown as you can see pretty much from this game uh it's got a pretty much a good daisy feel to it uh there there's some that needs to be updated a little bit as you, the graphics are semi-decent for an arcade game pretty much what you would expect uh I feel like some of the attack issues could be fixed. Um, throw in some different, like, maybe combos or something. Uh, the driving needs to be fixed a little bit. That's a major issue. Is driving just is not clean. Well, it's clean enough. It's better than if you ever played Daisy on the computer. It's definitely better than that. Well, you're also playing Daisy's on a computer. It's hard to drive, play driving games on a laptop. Yeah. But, um,. If they were shooting to sh try a Daisy type game, they're they're really close. They're missing the mark by very little. Uh, I think if they want to get more people into it, adding a multiplayer would definitely skyrocket people trying to do this. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, if I were to rate it, I'd probably give it a four to five. You know, it 
Yeah. For an, uh, it's an arcade that, game. That's, I mean, that's you get what you pay for. That's definitely really, really good. Because, honestly, you see some arcade games come out, and they're like, oh, you know, it's it's okay. And, honestly, this game, you can just spend... Ca- it's not like one of those arcade games where, like, oh, let's play it for a little while, and let's beat it, and, fuck, there's $20. You okay. know? For, for 1600 not too bad. Yeah, a lot of there's, effort went into making this game. Yeah, it's very obvious. There's so much to do. There's so many side missions, and there's so many areas to explore. You will definitely spend hours and hours playing this game. Like it's not one of those. Like I said, oh, let's play it for like one day, and then oh shit, the game's over. You know, it's like you will be playing this for a long, long time. If if the game still interests you. You know, then you will definitely. I'm just saying, any zombie lover, like type person who loves any kind of zombies, which who wouldn't? Shit, I think my car just died. Nope, we're good. Uh, any kind of person that likes zombie games, definitely, definitely will like this game. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. You guys, just uh, let you know, this game right here is de- definitely, definitely worth the buy. It's, I mean, it's it's only twenty dollars on the Xbox Live Marketplace right now, for an arcade game. Go look it up. Go check it out. Definitely a buy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you can leave a comment below, whatever, saying any games that are coming out anytime soon that you would like for us to try out. It'd be really nice. We love to hear from anyone who watches these videos. And uh, let us know what you like. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that that would also be nice. All right, uh, we're out of here, guys. This is.